Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. Today we are diving in and taking a look at the latest update for 1.70 of the Mount and Warcraft mod, aka the World of Warcraft mod. If you've never heard of this mod or it's been a little while since you have recently dived in, the mod has got its own custom campaign map. It's got new races such as the Orcs that have recently made their way in and we'll take a look at in today's video. They also have rosters for a lot of the Stormwind factions and the elves are now starting to get a bunch of new assets they even have some really really amazing kind of like phoenix cavalry uh, for the elves that will be in the next patch which is very exciting and then hopefully later on down the line we'll get more dwarves and trolls and other such factions that currently just have their rosters blocked out with original uh, caradian soldiers so today the main update in the 1.7 is that the orcs have got their big update and there you go you got a big old orc with a fat ass and that's what you like to see uh, so the orcs have made their way in and again they have a lot of custom armors every update is just adding more and more stuff to these to kind of make them more unique and interesting uh, and it's very exciting to see them kind of making their way in so what we'll do is we'll just kind of a blitz through this really quickly you can also see some of the weapons as well as the orcs look amazing and you can see they are pretty goddamn huge as well raring to go and get stuck into combat there are also now classes in the mob, which is pretty exciting. So, for example, you have the warrior class that allows you to pay uh, your troops less money every single day. So, uh, that's one of the advantages. And it's great to see the models actually experimenting with this. Obviously, the classes of World of Warcraft are so important to the actual game itself. So, it's nice to kind of get that in a game like this, where classes aren't necessarily a thing. Uh, but it's great to see them. And again, hopefully, you'll get extra added bonuses as you go. The Necromancer allows you to raise is dead much like in the old world the war warhammer mod uh, we also have the warlock that can actually shoot out a fireball again i'm not sure if this is using the same system as the old world or if this is kind of its own custom system we'll find out in battle and then we have the holy priest that allows you to heal much faster uh, when traveling the world map i'll pick the, the warlock because that's kind of interesting you also now have the ability to start straight off as a vassal if you want to uh, so you can immediately uh, dive in you also, when you start off as a vassal, actually start off, oh my god, look at that boy right there. Uh, you actually do end up starting off with a castle as well that will, you know, allow you to get some troops pretty early on and move out. You do actually start off, unfortunately, as clan rank zero, uh, which I think is hopefully something that will be changed because... If you're starting off as a vassal, you should at least be clan rank 2 so you can field decent armies and kind of go from there. Because at the moment, I, can, I have a castle, but I can only field 20 men. It feels a bit weird. Uh, you obviously have a new, completely new roster for the orcs, uh, and you can see it quite here in all its glory. You have shamans, warlocks, and I imagine, even though they are only equipped with a hoe uh, and some armor, I imagine these guys do have access to, uh, to magic and other such stuff, the shaman as well. Uh, and we have obviously a lot of these other orcs. Again, can't really see them in the little preview window. Uh, you can get kind of a glimpse of some of their armor. But all that stuff is now in, so it's great to see the orcs there. So even if you're fighting against the orcs as the men of Stormwind, uh, you'll be able to see that. And as you can see, the orcs do start off with a horde, starts off at war with a lot of factions. And you actually have a little bit of a quest as well. Take the sto take Stormwind or the Dark Portal before the end of the first war. So you actually kind of have some objectives. And I'm not sure how far that quest line does go, but it's good to see them creating their own little quest line itself. If you haven't seen the overall map as well, you can see it right here. Looking pretty goddamn large. I believe improvements have been made elsewhere up here into the, uh, the Night Elf areas uh, silver moon up there and I, I believe as well that silver moon is getting its own custom model in the next patch as well at the moment only stormwind i believe has its own custom model uh, where is stormwind um yeah right here so yeah, Stormwind has its own custom model. Again, this is not available actually in the battle map, but again, that's something we will look to add in the near future. I'm hoping, uh, I imagine that'll be one hell of a siege map to defend. Uh, and again, I really hope they do stuff with keep battles. You know, it'd be cool if every like section of the settlement had its own keep battle or something. Uh, that'd be quite exciting. Uh, and obviously, that is a lot of work with a lot of maps uh, that you're going to have to uh, progress through. I think if I click, uh, if I move out, there's actually yeah, going to be some undead rabble. So we can actually just dive in. We will fight a battle at the end of the uh, map. Actually, what I can do is I can probably like jump off here and jump into these and drag in some other guys. So no, surrender. Uh, no, you need to pay for your crimes. God damn it. I hate it when the AI 
never uh, actually engage on me because I wanted to fight. But what we can do is we can just go ahead and fight. Maybe we're gonna, I can't even fight these guys because they are my ally. But look at them. Um, Turok is deadly and raring to go. There's no way I can fight you, right? No. So we're going to go over here and try and drag in uh, these guys, which we have managed to do. Surrender. Uh, there we go. Boom. So now we can actually take a little look at some of the Orc units. Whilst we're in battle, there's no need to kind of fight a custom one. Uh, and we can just see them right here. So I've just got my 10 lowly Orcs right there. Nothing crazy. You can see the size of these boys as well, equipped with their weaponry. Again, as the patches go along, oh yeah, it does seem like a lot of these guys are equipped with just hoes, uh, which is obviously something they're going to need to change in, the, uh, in patches and stuff. Uh, well, at least my men are. And yeah, the rest of the horde are just equipped with kind of like basic weapons. Some have hammers and some have, uh, yeah, some have the axes. Uh, but I'm sure we're getting more and more weaponry as the mod gets more and more on. And in new patches, we can see some of the shamans and the lord himself atop that with a pretty deadly warhammer. So the game did say, oh, there you go. I'm using some sort of magic right now. Oh, I'm regening right now. My shamans are healing me, which is cool. Uh, that's pretty dope. I'm not sure how else you do the magic, though, because in old world... Uh, there's a combat log, so we don't need that. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how you do it, because apparently we, we should be able to cast a fireball, um, but I, I, I guess not uh, going to be quite possible. Yeah, we can regen, which is cool. Uh, and that's Q, but how do I even cycle? Um, so yeah, it's really cool to see that like magic spells are in the game. Uh, it's pretty dope. That's going to be a, a kind of a system they are going to be planning on doing uh, going forward. With some of the warlocks, I can only assume shooting out some, uh, some cannonballs. The archers here firing out some arrows and yeah just adding all the magical effects will be so goddamn dope yeah you can actually see the, the fireballs actually going out so yeah they are completely different from the uh from the old world warhammer mod so it's nice to see them working on their own system and some of these boys just cutting through the opponents there we go that was an absolute slaughter what i'll do now is i'll quickly just jump down and i'll show you a battle against some of the stormwind factions who are again another one of the factions that are a little bit more developed um i mean first things first i'll show you the roster that they have uh so again you can see them they start off with the normal peasants and they kind of work their way down to more of the elite men of storm uh, Stormwind, some elite guard, with some big old shields on their back, a lot of very good cavalry, uh, some of these bad boys as well. And there are a few other really cool sections as well of this roster. I believe the uh, the men in the north, uh, where Jaina is from, uh, up here, they have again their own roster, which we can show off. Uh, again, looking very cool. Theirs is a little bit different, and they have some of these amazing looking guys. Look so goddamn awesome in battle. Uh, some silver spine crossbows. So still kind of keeping that Stormwind aspectic, but a little bit more uh, goofy. Well, I say goofy, a little bit more Warcraft. Uh, again, looking very nice. And you have the lieutenants and other units. Uh, quickly, before we do dive into a battle with them, we also have the elves who are also uh, got a little bit of uh, a few armors nothing crazy and again they're still very much a work in progress but they have some actual units right here so you have some of the, the fast striders uh, and then obviously the outriders uh, with their classic uh, mmo female armor on uh, and then we also here we go back have some of the infantry guard as well some of the silver moon guard uh, looking nice as well so let's just quickly dive into a battle uh, i guess with either of these guys doesn't really matter i probably can't declare war on them uh, because i'm already in a faction so let's just go and fight some of the uh the men here if i can find one of their lords uh and a lot of the undead rabble lying around are going to cause you some pretty interesting opponents oh my god where are the armies of stormwind are they just like not here not existent i guess not Okay, I just found every single one of the enemy lords. I don't exactly know why they're all here, but they are. And again, you can see some of the armors, uh, which is very nice indeed. And we'll just dive into a battle with them. They're going to obviously cut us down, but we'll get to see some of the units if you haven't already seen them. My brave, brave orcs. We will charge for the glory of the horde for the horde. And these boys are massive. I don't really know why they're so much bigger than me as well. I guess maybe because I'm a warlock, so I'm a bit smaller. Whereas these are maybe more warrior classes. Could be one of the reasons. Because uh, I am quite quite a small boy. Or maybe it's just something to do with my character creation. But what we'll do, obviously, we don't need to fight. We can just go off and uh, try and find them. So if we, uh, if we go ahead and uh, allow ourselves to uh, move off. And then we can make our way over very slowly to the enemy lines. 
So here are the glimpses of some of the horses of Stormwind. You can see their custom shields, spears, uh, looking very nice indeed. They also have some of the other uh, kind of caravan guard, more Caradian units, but they also even have their, their mix in with some shields, which is a nice little addition to that. Just to kind of, you know, whilst they are placeholder units, it allows them to kind of, kind of fit in, uh, you know, at least somewhat into the World of Warcraft. Uh, mod which is very nice and then we get dived into the infantry we have a lot of the peasant infantry but a couple early tiers don't have that many but we get a nice little glimpse at some of the more elite soldiers who again look very very nice indeed i mean oh, that shield the sword the detail on it is looking very good i love the helmet as well uh, super super nice uh, we have some more of the other units as well some of the upper tier archers right there putting back their bow and then also the crossbows uh, with some really cool custom shields and everything else that you'd love to see and yes you finally get to get a nice little glimpse as well at them huge tower shields as well so hopefully you guys enjoyed this little mod spotlight there's no real need to fight this out you guys can just again zoom in on my, oh, oh, my helmet looks amazing uh, but yeah there's no need to really fight this as we're going to get cut down but I wanted to make a quick video just to basically let you guys know everything that has recently been added to this mod bearer still plenty more left to come as well the mod is planned for so much more uh, and you know the mod is really getting a lot of uh, awesome updates with a little bit of magic sprinkled in there some classes and other units it is really really cool the orcs i can't wait for the dwarves and the trolls to finally make their way in and this definitely does kind of give you a nice little glimpse of that uh, and yeah just having like the different strengths between races as well will be awesome uh, and very very cool indeed so if you guys enjoyed this make sure you drop a like and a comment down below let me know if you want to see more from this model i'll leave a link to it down below in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one